Okay. Rabbi Rosenzweig, just one question. Where are you, Rabbi Rosenzweig? Walmart. You're not in Walmart. Shopping list. I'm in Sky Zone in New Rochelle, finishing up a um, a party for my grandchildren. Who now are singing and are preventing me from working. Okay, it's enough. I, I know where you are. You can shut yourself up. Okay, sorry. Yes. Anyway, so we're up to. <laughs> Amara, we 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 got we're discussing Megillah's Tainus, right? That Megillah's Tainus is the days you can fast. We said two two days so far. We said from Rosh Chodesh until till Ches, because that's the day that they established that the Tomid has to be bought from funds, communal funds rather than individual funds. And additionally, from from Ches until the end of until the end of Pesach, because that's the day where they were, overcame the the Susim or that who said that what that. Shuas has to be on a Sunday because it's Machash Shabbos. So we're discussing that. Omar, going back over the Baisa, Mitimnaya, three lines in the bottom on Yud Zayan on the base. So Omar, Mitimnaya Bay at Soif Moyada from the eighth day until the end of the Moyid, Itoisiv Chaga de Shuai. Right? They established the Chag of Shuas. The Loyla Mispid that did not go ahead and say, I spade them. So Lomali at Soif at Moyid, why do you need to the end of the Moyid? Fellas, just say from 18 till Tesvav. And the Mela, Tesvav till, till uh, Chav Gimel, till Chav Chavis Chav Gimel, is going to be wide, it's going to be the end. So you won't have, you won't, you won't have a Hespit because it's Yantif. So why do you have to extend the Tainus till the end of the Mayid, just to the beginning of the Mayid, and it would have sufficed? Because at the end of the Mayid, the Mayid itself would have gone ahead and done away with any Hespidim or any Wat. For that matter, we said we don't have any has paid in the Nisan altogether, right? Okay, but because we arrive in a month, it could be for this reason. Anyway, says the Gemara. So, Amara Papa, Kid Amarav, Leinitzacha Ella, Lesser Yoim Shelafanov. As we said yesterday, in other words, we want to go ahead and Asa, we said yesterday, we want to Asa the day before. What was that question? Well, guys, why did it have to say Roy Shkhaidesh? Why did it have to say Roy Shkhaidesh? Then, in other words, since Rosh Chaydish itself, you can't say Tainus or Hespid. Why they begin from Rosh Chaydish to day eight? You could have begun from day two till day eight. Why was that Teret? We said we wanted to ask the day before. Fred the Gemara, let's ask the day before Rosh Chaydish. Says the Gemara, the day before Rosh Chaydish, we're not going to ask because it doesn't need a chizik. We're not worried if you don't keep it. If you, you say a Hespid the day before, you come to say a Hespid on Rosh Chaydish because what? It's the Torah. When does it need a chizik? When it's the Rabbanon, when it's a, a Tainus, Machmis, the, the Megil is Tainus, then it needs a chizik. So that's why we said from, from Rosh Chaydish to say the day before Chavtes Adar, it will be us at the Hespid because of that. Okay? Now, that was then. What about now? What about now? What, so what's that, Akasha? The Territ says, says the Gemara, Hachanami, here too. Why we said it's us of the whole Mayed, El Alesa Yoim Shal Achrav, into Asa the day afterwards. In other words, if you would have gone ahead and said up until the Mayed and not including the Mayed, the day after the Mayed, it would be permitted in, in, in Hespit, it would have been permitted, correct? Kemash Malan, that no, the whole Mayid is part of the Megillus Tainus, and since the last day of Mayid is part of Megillus Tainus, the day after the Mayid is also Behesped. Good? Now, we had we had two shitas in the Mishnah. We had a Machloikis between the, the Chachamim, who we're going to see later on is Reb Meir, and Reb Yaisi. So it behooves us to go back now to Tesvav Amid Beis. To go back to Tesvav Amid Beis. Where the lines get wide, three, four lines down. Where the lines get wide, four lines down. In the middle of the line, the misbit, right? Any time it says Megillus Tainus, not to make a hespid, it's Asr before and it's Muta afterwards. would be what would be Asa, right? of Akrov would be Asa. Now, Get it? We established good. That's so now. If you just told me in this brayster, the reason why you needed the whole moyed to be what to be 
part of Megillus Tainus to ask to the day after the Mayid, who must it be like? Rabbi Yaisi. Because later at the Chachamim, the day after is Mutta. So it must be according to Rabbi Yaisi. Rabbi Yaisi says the day after is it's also the, the Maspid. So, so now we must be going, going to Rabbi Yaisi. Guys, you got the Cheshman? Good. Says the Mayid. That's the Cheshman so far. Now, says the Gemara. Now, it's a lesson of Yamshalachov. Keman, who does it go according to? Rabbi Yaisi. So Amar was of the opinion, being the fun of before the Megillus Tainus day, being the Achrav after the Megillus Tainus day, also. He hachi fed the Gemara an unbelievable question. The Essen with Tishanami, my area to have a human with the Makami, my area to have a human with the Makami, human with the Mikta, and we took him to Mida, typically to have a human with the Bossa Essen with Timnaya. Like, guys, look at me. Guys, look at me. I, I said this already, I'll say it again. Why is the 29th day of Ad Asa? Because it's the day that's before Rosh Chodesh. Good? Now, that goes, that pass, this could or Mandi Omar. It could be Rabbi Yossi, but it also could be the Chachamim who say the day before, right? What happens the 28th day is a, is a Megillus Tainus day? Uh, 28th day is a Megillus Tainus day, right? Good. So if you, now, according to Rabbi Yossi, what's the din? Days. Afterwards, what is? Uh, no, no, because times means you don't fast. That it's also, and it's, it's speaking about a hespit, right? Yeah. Meaning, since the 28th, as we're going to see in a second, is one of the days Megillus Tainus, why do you have to make Rosh Chodesh to Asa to fast, to be master on the 29th? You could have done it. It's the day after the 28th. You're coming from 1 to 29. You could have gone from 28 to 29. Like the Chacham, you couldn't, because the Chacham hold that what? That it's more, it's more to the day after. But now you're telling me what? It's according to Rabbi Yossi, since you asked the whole Mayed. Once that's the case, then we go and revisit our original problem. A lot of words. Let me say it again. Kasha. Reish Chodesh till, till, till 8. Megillah's time is day. Fred the Gemara, why do you need Reish Chodesh? Why? Start from day 2, because Reish Chodesh is also. So you don't need Megillus Tainus to create an Issa of Hesped and Tainus. You could have accomplished by the fact that it's Rosh Chaydesh. And for the Gemara, the reason we began with Rosh Chaydesh was for the day before, the 29th day. That's the reason. Because we wanted to say the day before you also can't fast and be mastered. Yeah? Good. Fred the Gemara now. Okay. I accepted that. I accepted that as long as I didn't know who the Tana of the Mishnah was. Now you're telling me the Tana is who? It's Rabbi Yaisi. How do, you prove, how do we prove it's Rabbi Yaisi, guys? Because we made a mayor, the whole mayor, it was asa. To what? To asa the day after the mayor. Good. Once it's after, so we gishmak. The 29th is not asa because of Reish Chaydesh, the days afterwards. The 29th is, is asa behest of the because it's the day that follows what? That, that, that day that follows the 28th. It, it, it's, it's after 28th. Now, how do you know 28th is what? Is a Megillus Tainus day? Let's see it right now. Says the Gemara Gishmak. Fred, let's see the Russian words. Ihochi, three, three lines from the top. Ihochi, that you're going to tell me. Be'es metisha nami. My area, the have a yuma, the mekame yuma, the mitukim tamida. It's the day before the day that they established the Talmud that is brought from the Sebra uh, funds. Typically, the have a yuma, the bossa, esrim, the naya. Let's say established it because it's the day after 28. The Tanya, be'es metimnaya be, on the 28th day, Asis Bisurasa Tavasal Yudoi came a great what message to the Jews. And we had this Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, that they didn't have to go ahead what and stop learning, that they were not bottled from Torah. They're not, they're not bottled from Torah. The, 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 the Gezerah is off. Why? Shepam Achas Nigza Gezerah Yisrael, Shle Yaska Betaira, Shle Yemules Benehem, they should learn Torah, they should circumcise the children, Ushi Yechalu Shabbosos, and then the Yechal Shabbos, Maasa Yehuda Ben Shemua Vechaverov, Holcho Benatel Eitzel Mimachunisa, Achas Shekol Gedoli Rome Matsuyan Etzla. There was this woman, the Mashmunisa, who they used to visit, and she knew them well, and they, came, they went to her for an Eitzel, and Omer Lehem, they told her Yehuda Ben Shemua and his friends, Omdu Vefiginu Belayla, go cry out at night. They went and they cried at night. What did they say? Aren't we brothers? After all, Esau and Yaakov are brothers. Do we have Yaakov as our father? Don't we both come from from, from Yitzhak's father? Don't we both come from from Rivka? 
right? Why are we different than any nation? The Lashon, any language? So, so Batlum. They went ahead. They were they were so moved. They went battle it. That day was the twenty eighth day of Adar. Asu Yontif. So Fred the Gemara. You're telling me, guys, that it's according to Rabbi Yosi. It's according to Rabbi Yosi. Why do you have to make the 29th day? Also, the Hesbid and Tainus, because it's a day after before Rish Kodesh. It could be also the Hesbid and Tainus, because it's a day after the 28th. Again, the, 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 the they was mavatel the gzera, that not to learn. Oh. Guys, you good? It's Kishmak Kash, right? Yeah. Uh, says the Gemara. I'm a bayil. It's a little chodesh mova. You know, very Kishmak. What happens is 29, 30 days in a month. <laughs> right, guys? What happens is 30 days in a month? 30 days in a month would only be us and the time of the day afterwards, right? But I was 28, it's two days afterwards. So 28 won't do it. 29 would do it 28. What happens is day 30? So the whole reason they did it is because of what? Because of and the year that's a moba. It can even be speaking about the month is 29 days. One second. Anything that afterwards, betainus, right? Anything shall akrov that after it, betainus asa and behespid muta, mize hoil muta be shne yam toifen, asu kiyantiv atzmai, but I feel behespid nami asa, but I feel behes nami asa. Let's see Rashi here. He has rub, rub him, I feel the tame of Kurdish chasa, but hochi knock at me re shiarcha. And this is why we learn Rish Chaydesh. Di avi asalei li yoyim chav tes mishim basa chav ches. If you were to ask at 29 because of 28, li avi asalei ele betainus lechude. It only would have been asr and tainus alone. But not in Hespid. Masha'en came after Rish Chaydesh. Afterwards, it would have been asa. The chol shel achav kloima. Kol shel asa mishim achav yantiv betainus hu da asa. Or the Hespid muta. Guys. Guys. Look at look at Rabbi Yishita. Look at look at Rabbi Yishita. It's very gishmaket. Go back to go back to Tesvav on the day. Go back to Tesvav. Again, four lines from where it gets wide. Okay, so four lines where it gets wide. Kol akasim megillas tainus the loy lemispid that no hespid lefun of asa lachar of muta Rabbi Yishiyom melefun of lachar of asa. You can't either way. You can't not say it. It's also the maspid now. The loyalist Tanoa, the fun of Ula Akra of Mutter, the Tanakama says it's Mutter to fast. But yes, Yama, the fun of Osa, La Akra of Mutter, it will be Mutter. Uh, so, in other words, if you go from Reish Chaydish to 29, it's going to be what? Osa Vitinus. If you go from 29, 28 to 29, it's going to be Mutter Vitinus. And that's what are we worried about? If it's the day before, we're worried you may come to do the yontif itself that they decreed. Afterwards, you're not worried. So Rabbi Yossi says, guys, if it's the 28 going into 29, so it would be mutter to fast on the 29th. Why? Because it followed the 28th. But if the 29th is before the Reish Chaydash, right, then it would be also to fast. And that's why, that's what you accomplished. That's it. Let's see in the words again. Rashi says Rava, but we have Rav Ashi, and no one changes the gear stuff. Says the Gemara. Let's see one more time. Rav Ashi Amar, Afilu Teimul Chaydish Chasa. Can be even speaking about twenty nine, and still you need to Reish Chaydish guys. You need to make the Megillus Tainus from the Reish Chaydish and not the second. Why? The Kol Shala Akra B'Tainus Asa the Hesped Muta. Anything that afterwards Tainus is Asa the Hesped would be Muta. Even behesped also would be asa. So therefore, by going ahead and putting what uh, make it like before, right? Then what? Then it would be asa the tainus. From the eighth day until the end of the mayid, they established what the shuas was established. That you shouldn't say a hesped. Furthermore, lovely lemeimim etenayibei, lemeimim metishibei. Say from from the ninth day, etenayib go for usa that le yuma the tukum bei tamida. Guys, you have a you have a you have a you know concentric circles. You have one day that, that's 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 uh, matching up. Day eight. Day eight. You came, guys. You came to day eight from both ends. 
You came to day eight, it's Rosh Chodesh till day eight, and then you came day eight until the end of the Moyed, right? Why did you have to say day eight? Just say day, the second, the second time to start from nine. Eight is included already in the previous one. It's included in the fact that we established the, the, the Talmud with communal funds. So why begin the Chag on day nine that we established that Shavuos is going to be any day, not on the Sunday. So why do you have to go include day eight? And with the Gemara, Kim Dili Mikla Milsa, Ubat Line Lishiva, since if something would happen, the Mubatl, the first one, Tanayu Gufa Asa, then the eighth day would be Asa, the Havla Yuma Kama, the Toys of Bay Chagad Shway. In other words, let's say for whatever reason, the first one was gone, that they, these things weren't forever, guys. They, they could be gone. Like yeah. Bizman Azel, we don't look like Bizman Azel, we don't. The only thing you have is Gulas Times, Bizman Azel, guys, is Hanukkah. Purim is mentioned, but we, we would do Purim anyway. We're not because of Hanukkah, because of, of, the, of, the, of the Megillah, what it says in the Megillah. But the only way we know it's bottle. So the reason why they start that day is why is because, yeah. is because in case the first one's bottle, we start the day from the Chag Shul. Says, so, now that you arrived at this, Guys, it's not the Kasha. 28, 29, Fred the Gemara, why do you have to go ahead and, and, and got beginning and, and from uh, from the second one that it should be before I kind of the day following 28. What happens is they would have got rid of 28. So therefore you need to wrap back up plan to day eight. In my Rav Chiyabar Asi Yomar Rav Halacha Kreb Yosi. The Halacha is like, the Halacha is like Rav Yosi that what, by Tainus it says that what, it's it's Asa and Mota, and by Hesper it's Asa and both. Ushmul Amar Halacha Kreb Meya. The Lach is like Reb Meir, right? The Reb Meir say that it's Muta after and before it's Asa, but it's Muta afterwards by by uh, by uh, by Hesped. Fred no minu l'mishmul hachi v'tanya v'shimig l'yol oimer matam l'oimer b'hoin b'hon. Guys, what is the lashon? It says kol akos v'gil is tanya like l'mispid l'fonav asla. Oh no, that's not the other one. So, these are the days you shouldn't fast in them. And some of them, so it says, That's on the on the base. The last day is on the base, the first white line. So it says, twice. The day itself is also. But it'd be muta. So we have a three of my like Reb Meir, has spits mutter uh, before uh, before it's us before and mutter afterwards. You basically say it's us both, and Shimon Gilead says it's mutter both. Hmm. He says it's mutter after has spits both days. Good, that's what he's saying, guys. Look at the lashon. Shtei pam leima l'amal chashehin asurim. They the day itself, the Megillah day itself, guys, is us for has spit. The name lachrei mutarim, but before and afterwards it's mutter. For Amar Shmuel lachrei Shimon Gamliel. And the Shmuel says the Allah is like a Shem Gamil. So you got a stira. That's the Kasha. You just told me Shmuel said the Allah is like Reb Meir, that it's us before and Mutti afterwards. Now he's saying the Allah is like a Shem Gamil, that it's Mutta Mutta in both days. That, to go ahead and say a Hespit. Says the current May Karasara, Kivin the Leka Tana the Makel, Karebi Meir. Since they didn't have any Tana that was more Makel like Reb Meir, that said it's Mutta to say a Hespit, right? Amalach Reb Meir. Even the shamil of Shimon Gamliel, the Mekel Tfei, I'm a lachim of Shimon Gamliel. That's the copy. Guys, you hear? In other words, he held that that Rebbe, he held that oh. Rebbe, Rebbe Yosi was a machmir. Why was Rebbe Yosi machmir? He said that's also also both days, also both days. Rebbe Meir was a little more Mekel. Why? Because he said it was Muta before. So he wanted to be Mekel. Now that he found someone that what? Is even more Mako. Rav Shimon Gamliel says, "What well, in Gansin it's Muta? It's more Mako. That, that that's Muta says." Yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. That the guy answered me that this morning. Yeah, uh, yeah guy at six at six a.m. I got a, a text from Bobby Orbach. He goes, "It's a cooler to say a hesped." The answer is, it's a cooler to be in control of your destiny. It's a. I, that's what I thought. Yeah. You you you're in control. The chumrah is you can't say. Meaning, it's not. They don't let you say. That's a chumrah. In other words. You, you're looking at one second. I'm off the hook. I don't have right. <laughs> right. No, right. right. No, it's it's, it's a chumrah. 
the, yeah. it's a chumra. The cool is that I'm in my control, right? I could say that, that that's what I answered them. That's what I think. Okay, so you have to get the terrace, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, no, maybe. Do we get that, guys? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Right? Good. Oh. We're doing it one more time. There's somebody, somebody here who doesn't know what's flying. I don't know where he is, but I know there's somebody who doesn't know what's flying. We'll say it again. Guys, three sheetas. Guys, three sheetas. Says by Hespit, by Hespit, by Hespit. Three sheetas. Yeah. What are the three sheetas? One says Remeya, before the day of the Tainus, it's us at the fast. After the day, us at the Hespit. After the day of the Tainus, it's Mutta. Says Rabbi, Rabbi yeah, I see both days it's us to say it. Says Rabbi Shimon Leal, both days it's Mutter to say it. Says one place he passes like Rameya of Shmuel, second place he passes like Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. After Gemara, he only passed like Rameya because Rameya was Makel, Eitzel, Rabbi Yossi. Once he found the bigger Makel, he went after the bigger Makel. The Chainum of Bali, that's the name, Bali. Bali's name of a person. Amr of Chiyabar, Abba, Amr of Yachron, Halacha, Rabbi Yossi. Halacha is like Rabbi Yossi, that it's us in both days. Amr of Chiyabar, as we call key on Rabbi Yechon, I'll look Rabbi Yossi at Lestar, right? When did he say Allah Rabbi Yossi? Only regarding fasting. Okay, now, what is fasting, guys? Fasting is you, the day before, according to, the day before you can't fast, the day afterwards you could fast. Right? According to Tanakama, both days you could fast. Umiyam Rabbi Yechon, Haki, does Rabbi Yechon say that what? That it's Asa to fast the day before? Guys, guys, guys get it straight. We've been discussing it till now what? Tainus. Hesbid. Now we're discussing Tainus. Okay, what's the machlokes by Tainus? Rabbi Yossi says the day before Asa, the day after Muta, says Rabbi, says the Tanakama, or Rabbi, both days are Muta. The first both days are Muta. That's what he says. So now, the Rama Rabbi Yechon, Halacha Kistam Mishnah. The Halacha is like an anonymous Mishnah. The Tanan. Now this is what's speaking about in Megillah. Guys, let, just a little background. We know in Megillah, Megillah, we read on the 14th day, a, 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 a city that's been surrounded by a Batir from Yeshua being known as the 15th day. Good. Some days can be the 11th day you can read it, some day the 12th, some day the 13th, 14th, the 15th. When is that? They, people would come from the boondocks. They would come to be judged on Mondays and Thursdays. So let's say if, if they, they, and they, they won't be there on the 14th. So you can you go back as much as what, as what, as on a Wednesday, Wednesday was the 14th, you'll go back what? Well, to two days. If it's Thursday, you'll go back. So you know, it's, so those are possibilities. Now, Sunday gets you 11, right? Because you can go back to, to what? Till Thursday. Thursday. No wonder you favor me, Sefta. But Tanan, Afal Pisha Omru Magdimin Veloima Achrin, even though we said by, regarding the Megillah, you'll go earlier, you won't go later. You won't go after the 15th, right? You won't go later, right? No, nonetheless, Mutarim behesbi betainus. It's permitted to go ahead what and fast and say and and what and eulogize. Amos, what exactly? What days are we discussing? Elema bnei chamiser. These are people who are fifteen. These people live in Yerushalayim. The kokari lei bar visa, and they're reading on the fourteenth. Umishari is it permitted to read on the fourteenth? Well, kesibim megillas tainus yoyim arba asa boy. So it can't be if you're on a 15th guy on a 14th day that you possibly won't be mutta behesper betainus. There's no way. It says in the Megillah you can't, in Megillah often you can't fast on the 14th. Ah, you're a 15th day guy and it's the day before. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. And again, the Mishnah says the day before is mutta. So the 14th comes to a 15th. So al karchach, we've, we've gone ahead. And we've subtracted the possibility that 14 could be, say, a hesped on, on, on the 14th. No, can do, can't be. Other possibility. That both halachas that apply to one, they apply to the other one. It must be day four, guys on the 14th. And they're laning on the 13th. So Purim falls out on Tuesday, and they're laning on the 13th on a Monday, guys. So on the Monday, you could fast. On the Monday, you could fast. One second. Remember, we just came up with a 28-day, guys? We came up that that was the day that they got the good news? There's good news on the 13th also. That was the day that Nikona got what he's deserved. We'll get to Nikona in a second. This is not Shar Nikona, where the nest was done in Mesechta Yuma to his doors. This is a Nikonar, is a Nikonar. This is a, okay. So, in other words, 
you can't fast on that day, not because it comes before the 14th, but because it itself is one of the days of Megillus Tainus. Mm-hmm. Purim falls out on a Wednesday, and they're going ahead right and landing on a Monday, which is what? The 12th. Yom Turyonis who? There's another day. Yom Turyonis, we'll meet him in a second also. So it's another Yontif day. So, so far, we haven't found the case that the day before that you're able to go ahead, even though you read the Megillah on that day, that you're permitted to fast and say husband on that day. El Olav, the Kokori Lei it must be that what? That you re- you're reading on the 11th. Purim is on Sunday, right? Purim is on Sunday, and you're reading it on Thursday. Purim, Sunday is the 14th. Shabbos is the 13th. Wednesday is the 12th. Thursday, Friday is the 12th. And Thursday is the 11th. And that's the day when people will come to be judged. So that's the case in Mesech the Megillah of day 11. And not like Rabbi Yossi, who says that what? That it's Asa. Says Rabbi Yochanan, that Allah is like Rabbi Yossi. That the day afterwards will be Asa Betainis. Here you see it's Muta Betainis. And for Gemara, Loi, it's not what you're speaking about. It's been a borrow usa. It's the 14th, the Kokori Le Betresa, and the reading on the 12th. I had a question with the Kamit Yoim Trinanus too. The 12th there's a it's a Zaitiga day, it's his old Megillus Tainus day. It's the day of the Ness of Trianus, which we'll meet in a second. Yoim Trianus Gufa Batuli Batlaho. They were Bumvatlet. What? Hoyo Venergu Boy Shmaya Vahia Ochi. Now it seems that the 12th, guys, look at me. Guys, the 12th day of Adar had been established in Megillus Tainus as the day of Turyanus, not the fast and not the say Aspen. That's the 12th day. Another event occurred in a day, a very sad event, that a person named Shmaya and his brother, Achio, were killed. Rashi says he doesn't know where, where, who they were. If you look on the side, and, and you may have, if you have an art school tomorrow, you, you have a number that, that seconds you. Be'orich harag mefarish the shmai of achiv hein hema harugi lud. They're the harugi lud and the skorim and mesachim that mentioned in pesachim. These people, they they were there was a, a princess that got killed, and and uh, they they were going to kill a lot of Jews, and they took the they took the brunt. They they were weren't they were not guilty at all, but they took their lives in order to save. They gave up their lives to be saved. So that went ahead and canceled out Yom Tzurionis. So very good. So it's twelve to it's fourteen to twelve. It's not the day before. It's not a kasha on on, on Rabbi Yossi. Again, Rabbi Yossi is kasha only the day before, after, right? If it's the day be, day before, excuse me. If it's the day before. This is two days before. So since it's two days before, it's not a kasha. Kihodo Rav Nachman Goza Tanisa Betresa. They were Goza Tanisa on the twelfth. Amulo Rabbanon Yom Tiyonisu. So Amulhu Yom Tiyonis Kufa Betuli Baatlahu. Hail Venega Bishmayev Achiv Vachia Achiv. Frank Demara the tape of the Havile Yoim Shelifne Niknor. One second. How could you go ahead and fast on 12? Isn't fast the day? Niknor is day 13. 12 is the day before. You can't fast the day before. You got to keep cash with all these numbers. Right, good. Yes, guys? Your Niknor is the third, right? On Ravashi, Hash the Il Gufa Batula, Mishon Yon Niknor, Nakam and Igzar. The 12th because of Tuyanis Nevatel. We're going to Vatel the 12th because what of, of a day before. Fellas, outside. Yom Tzuyanis was the day you, you day what you can't fast because of the nest. Good, but they were mavatel that because those people were killed. So since these two people were killed, they mavatel it, so that allowed you to fast. Correct. Now you want to tell me an ancillary fast? That's the day before you're going to not let them fast. Doesn't make any sense. The day itself you got rid of in order that to facilitate fasting because of the death of what. Of Shmaya Vachia. And now you can tell me, no, you can't fast because you're Nikna. Makes no sense. Okay, so therefore, I'm going to ask you, Hash the Eel Gufa Bat Lua, the day itself, the 12th is Batal. You should be your Nikna, Nikam Nixer, the day 13 should be Geyser. My Nikna, my Toyana. So, what were these days? What happened on these days initially that they said that you can't fast? Good. The Tanya. Nikna Echad Me Afriche Yevonim Haya. He was an officer. He was a had Hansho in the government, he was a duke of Greece. Isn't that Kashmak? It's, 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 right? Here we are, Yvonne. 
Rabbi Rosenzweig, here you are. There we go, right? The daf talking to us. The whole yoyim v'yoyim, hoyemein if yoday al Yehud of Yishlaim. This guy, Nick, this guy, Tiryonis, what would he do? Uh, he would go get up and he would wave his hands on Yudhi Yishlaim v'omar, emasai tipol v'yodhi, when are you going to fall into my hands? The er masena, and I'll trample it. Ukshigovam alchus beis chashmenoyim, this is unbelievable. And when the Malchus beis chashmenoyim, they were gova. What actually happened? Vinitzchlom, kotsu behind us yod of Araglov. They caught up his thumbs. They caught up his legs. They told him b'shari shalayim. Marsha says they caught up his head also because the mouth that went ahead and was was, was blasphemy. They caught up his head too, and they hung it there also. Vamro pesha hoyim edabe begayva. The pair that what that spoke begayva be yadayim shayim anifas shalayim. The hand that was rebi shalayim. Pass them to come and to come and look what happened. Good, and that was called Yom to Yom to Yonis, and this guy what got was coming to him, and they made an they made an S. So now my should be is it was that Nikna? That was Nikna. Excuse me, I said to Yonis. That was Nikna. Okay, umay to Yonis. So Amru kishabikish to Yonis lagles lulunius u papayis. They wanted to kill lulunius and papus. Achiv bidulot kia. According to this gemara, these were the harugi lud. Amru lehem. So this person, Tiyanis, said to Linus and Papis, If your descendants, the nation of Chedayim Mishal Vazayah, Yovayalekechem, let your God come, Vyatzleschem, Miyodi, and say, and say you for me, Kiderch Shitzles, Chedayim Mishal Vazayah, Yad Buchanesa. So I'm Lord, they told him, listen, Chedayim Mishal Vazayah, Tzadik and Gemurim, hey, Roya Hoya Leosel Hemnes. Nebuchadnezzar Melachogin, who Nebuchadnezzar, he was he was a, a, a able to recognize there's a Rabbi Shlaylam. He's when Chanani Mishal Vazayu came out, he he played, he he, he, he was Maka Gadish Baruchu. So therefore, Roy Lassel and Nesal Yadai, Roy say Russia, but you Hedyit, who you're a Hedyit, for any Roy Lassel and Nesal Yadai, for Anu Nischayav Nu Klia Lamakim, and we we are Machayav Klia Lamakim. In 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 words, obviously we're Machuyim Misa. This is happening to us. The main Ata Harugan, if you don't kill us. Harba Hargim Yeshle Lamakam. Like Kaddish Baruch Hu has many shlukim that can kill us. But Harba Dubim, the many bears, the royals and lions and tigers. Yeshle Lamakam by Lamai. Kaddish Baruch has in his world. She Poygin Benoi, the Hargim Esano. Eloi Masan, Kaddish Baruch Hu Biyatcha. El Shasli Par Dimina Biyatcha. The only reason Hashem let us come into your hands is going to take retribution from you. Afa Pikein Hargon. Nonetheless, guess what? Tiyanis killed him. Miyat Amru. They said. Tiyanis did not even get a chance to leave the execution site at Shabo, the Yolfe Romi, these two guys shut up from Rome, who puts their smoke in the gizzard and they smashed his brains in. That was young Tiyanis, and that's why they made what? Mamma said, Kiddush Hashem, they cursed him, they said, What's going to happen to him? And it happened. Okay. Angus and Tyler said, See, okay, let, let's. Uh, the end of the Mishnah. What does the end of the Mishnah say? It says a bunch of things. That you're not going to the Tainus on the Tzibor, uh, on Meshchaydesh, on Chanukah Purim. Guys, again, Chanukah Purim. This is unbelievable. Everybody was just like, this coming out of his mind. He loves the Chanukah and Purim. You're not going to, right? And initially, and what happens if, if what, ha- what happens if you started the fast and it showed up in the middle? Do you complete it or not? It showed up in the middle, you complete it or not. So that seems to be a machlaikis. If you start, you started. So, so the, we have two, two, two opinions. We have the opinion. Uh, one Rabbi Gamliel says, if you began, you're not mafsik. You can you finish the mem 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 uh, mem of mem mem hey mem. And the mayor says even the Rabbi Gamliel says not mafsik. He said it should be mash in the tinus. Okay, so let's see over here. Kama he has What does it mean has You began a tinus when avacham You had to begin three in order to not be mafsik. You had to have a series of Monday, Tuesday, when a Monday, Thursday, Monday. Vasi yamachas one. If you begin one, you're not mafsik, even if, the, if it's going to come out on on the uh, Purim, or it's going to come out on on Hanukkah, right? But Hanukkah, because Purim is probably too late. I'm Rabbi Yudam Rab Zudir Rabbi Meir Shalom Mishum Rabbi Rabbi Gamliel. I'm a Chacham Moim Misana Umashlim. You go fast and you complete the fast. Don't ask my Sutchim Shmei the Rav Chuna Alochim Misana Mashlim. We don't say that you're not Mashlim, but in fact you are Mashlim. The Mishnah be said you're not Mashlim, you say you're Mashlim. Okay, thank you for listening. Hopefully it wasn't too bad.